Hello, grade three. Hope you are fine. Today, our lesson is about multiplying by multiples of ten. Do you know or do you remember the multiples of ten? Ha, huh? ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Okay. How to find the product of three by forty? It's easy to multiply whole numbers by multiples of 10 using the following strategies. Okay, we can use the first strategy uh, to draw the place uh, value blocks uh, to represent uh, the e multiples of 10. Okay, you know from last year, uh, this block or this column means a 10. Okay, we have here three groups of 40 each group has got 40 10 20 30 40 okay this is 40 another 40 another 40 so three groups of 40 off means multiply 3 by 4 tens means 120 why because tens word means zero okay so it's a 12 and we bought zero because uh, we say goodbye English and I bought zero for the uh, instead of word tens. Three by 40. Uh, cross zero and put it on the right hand side. And three by four equals 12. Okay. The second strategy is to decompose. Huh. By breaking apart the multiples of 10 as two factors, the number by 10. So 40, what does it equal? It's 4 by 10. Huh. So what do we do? 3 by and decompose this number into 3 by huh, 4 by 10. Okay, so equals 12 by 10. Huh, both 0 on the right hand side and 1 by 12 equals what? Equals 12. You can multiply 3 by 4, 12, and both the zeros at the end. Okay? Let's see here how to solve this kind of question. How many groups do we have? This is the first group and the second group. Each group contains what? 3 or th 3 tens. 3 tens may means what? Each column represents a 10. So 1, 2, 3 tens means what? Means 30. Let's solve this so it's two group of 30. Okay, let's complete. Two of how many tens do we have in each group? I've got three. So it's two, two uh, times three tens equals how many tens? Uh, I get two times three equals six, six tens. I say for the English word, goodbye English. And what do we put instead? We put zero. So two times 30 equals 60. 2 times 3 by 10. We can decompose 3 into 3 by 10 equals also 6 by 10 equals 60. Here we have. Complete the following UA. You may use the place value blocks to help the first one to is done for you. 3 times 2 tens. 3 by 2 equals 6 tens. So, 3 by 2 tens means what? It's a 20 by by tens and I bought 0. So 0 on the right hand side and 2 by 3 equals 6. I can draw 3 groups of 2 tens or 3 groups of 20. Okay, this is one group, one group, another group. Okay, 3 groups of, so we have what? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's see the next one. 4 times 3, tens. Okay. In order to solve this, huh, what do we do? Huh, multiply the numbers. 4 by 3. Huh, what do we have here? Let's, let's see how to solve this kind of question. Okay. 4 by 3 equals 12. I say goodbye for the e. English word. Goodbye, tens. And I bought 0. Okay. Goodbye tens and I put zero. Huh? Goodbye tens and I put zero. So four by thirty equals one hundred twenty. Okay, let's see the next one. 
2 times 5 equals 10. Okay, let's solve this. Okay, 2 times 10, tens. Okay, goodbye, tens. And what we bought instead, we bought 0. It's 100. How can we draw here in the above example? Okay, I've got 12 tens. Huh? And divide it into three tens in each hand, four groups. Four groups of three tens. Okay, do you see here? And we have here five tens in, in, in two groups. Okay, two groups of five tens. So I have got a hundred. Okay. Complete the following solve problems the first done for you. Using what? Huh. The brackets. Okay, 2 times 40, I get 2 by 4. Then 0 means 10. 2 by 4 is 8. 8 by 10 equals 80. Okay, again one more time. Let's see the, here. What 4 and 5 between bracket? Okay, 4 by 5, I write it. 4 by 5, then 0 means 10, 4 by 5 equals 20, okay, 20 by 2, how many zeros do we have, I've got 2, put it on the right hand side, and 1 by 2 equals 2, okay, let's see the next, huh? put 8 and 2 between brackets, okay, then, 8 by 2 equals 16. 16 by 10. 0 on the right hand side. And 1 by 16 equals 16. Okay. Let's see the next. 7 times 7. Okay. Both 7. The numbers between bracket and 0 means 10. So, what do we have here? Huh? 7 times 7 equals 49. By 10. 0 on the right hand side. And 1 by 49 equals 49. The rest, you can do it by your own. Okay, let's solve, solve the next problems using any strategy. Okay. Here, 5 times 30. We put 0 on the right-hand side. Cross 0 and put it on the right-hand side. And what we have here, 5 times 3, what is equal? Equal 15. So the answer will be 150. Again, one more time, cross zero and put it on the right hand side. And get seven by two equals 14. So the answer will be 140. Again, zero on the right hand side. Okay, and six by five, what does it equal? Six by five equals 30. We bought 30, so the answer will be 300. And the rest, you can do it by E as, as homework. Okay. Now, we're going to take multiplication strategies. And we have zeros if we have multiples of 10 or 100, okay? Or 1,000, okay? Multiplication fact and place value pattern can help you multiply. If you know 2 by 4 equals 8, then you can use mental. Mental math to find 2 by 40. So... Uh, this is the rule. Put zeros on the right-hand side. Okay? Here we have 2 times 40, 0 on the right-hand side, and 2 by 8, 2 by 4, sorry, 8. Again, how many zeros do we have? I've got 2 on the right-hand side, and 2 by 4 equals 8. Again, one more time, how many zeros do we have? 3 zeros on the right-hand side. So, 2 times 8 equals 8. So, it, it, the answer will be 8,000. Let's solve this kind of problem or this kind of question. If you know that 7 times 2 equals 14, find the following. Uh, we deal that 0, put it on the right-hand side. And 2 times 4, 7 equals 14. One more time. We have here, how many zeros do we have? I've got 2 on the right-hand side. And 7 times 2 equals 14. So the answer will be 1,400. Again, in the last example, how many zeros do we have? I've got three zeros on the right-hand side. And 2 by 7 equals 14. So it's 14,000. Let's solve the last 
exercise. Two times three, you know, it's six. Huh? We have zero here, zero on the right hand side. So two times three, six. Again, how many zeros do we have? I've got two on the right hand side. Two by three, six, so 600. Again, how many zeros? Three on the right hand side. And two times three equals six. So the answer will be 6,000. Seven by four. Excellent, I can hear you. It's 28. Again, zero on the right hand side. And seven by four is 28. So the answer 280. The answer to zeros on the right hand side and the answer of seven by four equals to 28. How many zeros? Three zeros on the right hand side and seven by four equals what? Uh, 28. The last one, do it by your own. Okay, let's solve these problems. How many? Okay, let's solve this story problem. How many sheets are in, e in three notepads? I've got in each one, I have got uh, 40 sheets. Let's solve uh, three times 40. So what does it equal? Both zero on the right hand side and get three by four equals 12. Okay, between bracket, uh, zero on the right hand side and three by four equals 12. 12 sheets. Okay, one more time. I've got how many hats are in four bags? Got four bags. Each bag has got huh, 60 party hats. Okay, so four times 60. Huh, both four and six between brackets and zero on the right hand side. Get the product of four and six. Four times six equals 24. So the, what answer? What is the answer? Huh? 240. 40 what? 40 party hats. Okay. The last one, do it by your own. Let's see here. Amir bought three books to read. Each book costs 40 pounds. Okay. How much did, did Amir pay? Look at the keyword. Amir bought three books to read each stop. Each means multiply. Costs 40 pounds. So 3 times 40. What does it equal? A zero on the right hand side. 4 times 3 equals 12. So 120 what? 20 pounds. Okay? 20 pounds. Okay? A fruit seller sells every day 60 kilograms of fruit. Okay? Every. Every means multiply. Okay? It's a key word for multiply. 60, how many kilograms does the fruit seller sells in four days? So, four times 60 equals zero on the right-hand side, and six by four is 24. So, 240 watt, the units is kilogram. So, 240 kilogram. Thank you for watching, and don't hesitate to contact me if you have any question. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and goodbye.